technology. Looking back in time, four years and a half, or exactly September 2, 2010, when the original Galaxy Tab 7.0 inch was announced in Berlin at the IFA. Back then, the Samsung Galaxy Tab was the leader of the pack in terms of Android. And now, in our modern days, the Samsung Galaxy Tab series is just another budget middle-end tablet. According to Sam Mobile, Samsung devices with a dual-core processor will end at 4.2.2. Now, that's officially, of course. But for not Samsung users, Android is great. There are a lot of custom ROMs, and lots of it run KitKat perfectly on the Galaxy Tab 2 10.1. That's why in this video I'm going to prove to you or I'm going to show you the Tab 2 10.1 running KitKat smoothly and well. And in the next video, I will show you how to install it on your tablet. Now, of course, this is a raw unofficial. So let's get to it. This is the Galaxy Tab 2 10.1 P5 100 model. So the first thing I'm going to show you for this quick look is that this is actually Android 4.4. I'm going to go to the About device. So I'm using the Sensonic HD ROM and this is indeed KitKat, the newest Android version. The Tab 2 is definitely old, but the performance of KitKat on the Tab is really smooth and good. And as you can see, scrolling or navigating through the home screen or launcher is just no problem. By the way, this is the GEL Google Experience Launcher. They should have released an update for this tab. I mean, yes, it's old, but again, it's really smooth and it can handle such, such a system. Now, what's strange is if they had removed the gimmicky Samsung features, not all of them, some of them, they would have let us have an update. Benchmarks time. While we wait for the quadrant score, I'd like to share something with you guys. I'm actually a full screen partner now. Now full screen is a YouTube network that helps me make more money from my channel. And really thank you very much. Without your support guys, I would never have been accepted at this network. Anyways guys, let's return to the video. I think that the results are in. 2,946. That's pretty good actually for the Tab 2. And now it's time for Antutu 2 benchmarks. I'm just going to skip this and save the score. It's 9,757. Finally, for my last test, I'm going to test Dead Trigger 2. Now Dead Trigger 2 has two performance options low and high. I'm currently playing at the high option or with the high option selected. Anyways, the game as you can see is fairly playable. Now I'm not very good at this game. However, let's put that fact aside and you can see that there is lag but as I said before it is playable. Now anyways, so thank you very much for watching this video and that was really a quick video on Android 4.4 KitKat on the Galaxy Tab 210.1. Now, please stay tuned for my next videos, which will include how to install it on your tab.